we're mad, um, we're hurt, um, we don't know how to explain this to our children. The FBI investigating a possible hate crime after a Fort Smith mom wakes up to racial slurs spray painted on her car and garage. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Helms. In our top story tonight, we talk with a woman who tells us she's now worried for the safety of her kids. Just to warn you, some of what you're about to hear you may find disturbing. A not so welcome to the neighborhood for the Henderson family. My son came in and said, You need to come outside. And I was like, Why? And he was like, Come outside. So I walked outside and seen everything that had happened. Just four days after moving into her new apartment in Fort Smith, Amber Henderson, her three mixed race kids, sister, and friend waking up Thursday to this. They vandalized my best friend's truck, my car, and my garage. They put white power, no <laughs> allowed. Uh, die, uh, move out. Henderson says, in addition to the spray paint, her car tires were slashed and sugar poured into her gas tank. Her sister explains what went through their minds when they saw the destruction. I was pissed. <laughs> I was mad. Um, I started shaking. We have a lot of money that we have to put in to fix everything, and we're frustrated about that. But it's not the cost that's most upsetting. I was more hurt than I was mad, though, just for the simple fact that the kids are here and they had to see it. The sisters, now forced to explain these racial slurs, smeared across their belongings. She was asking questions like, why did they do that? What does it mean? Henderson, now scared for the safety of her children. It makes them feel like they have to watch over their back because they're mixed and black. Leaving her to question if she made the right move after all. I moved here because I wanted my kids to feel safe playing outside or whatever they was doing. Now I don't even want them outside. Fort Smith Police Department spokesperson, that's Eric Mitchell. He declined to go on camera since this case has been given to the FBI, but he tells Fox 24, quote, it's absolutely sickening and has no place in this or any community. Now you can read more on this story on our website, fox24news.tv.